G'day kids, it's Ozzy here. Today we've come along to the New South Wales Ambulance Superstation. Oxygen stuff, we've got spare parts, and it burns kit. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now just before we get stuck into today's episode, if you haven't seen it already, our merchandise is now live on our website, aussieforkids.com, where you can get all of your favorite Aussie items, like the Aussie hat, made especially for kids' heads, or the mini replica Aussie tea. How cool is that? All for our mini Aussie fans. And if you love Aussie that much, you can even get three things in a combo, a hat, a shirt, and a sweatband, all on our website. But one of my favorite items is this one, the Aussie socks, with this little touch here. Stay keen, kids, as always. Available right now on our website, aussieforkids.com. In the meantime, kids, enjoy this episode, and stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi! Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day Aussie. 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 G'day Today, we've come along to the New South Wales Ambulance Superstation in Liverpool. Now, this place is massive. There's heaps of ambulances and lots of paramedics, and this is where they send out all the ambulances when you call triple zero and you live somewhere around this area. So we're gonna go along and we're gonna meet some paramedics, hopefully. I'm gonna check out some ambulances and see what amazing work these guys do. So come on, kids, this is gonna be good. Let's go. New South Wales Ambulance. Let's ring the button and see who comes to answer the door. G'day, it's Ozzy here. Hey, Ozzy. Oh, look at this. We've got a couple of paramedics to come and join us. Hello, G'day. Josh. I'm Ozzy, nice to meet you, Josh. Hey, Ozzy, Dakota. Hey, Dakota. Hi, Thanks come for on having in. Me. Thanks for having me. Let's go, kids. All right, so this is where all the ambulances live. They do, they sleep here. They sleep here, and how many ambulances do you usually have that sleep here when they're not out on the road looking after people? Uh, we have anywhere between uh, 20 to 30 different types of ambulances at one time. That's a lot. Um, yeah. So, this place is huge. Yeah, very big. Um, one of the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. Wow, that's massive. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's lots of, I can see just looking around, there's a few cars with ambulances on them and, mm -hmm. then, and the, well, the ambulance logo, and then there's some big vans. What are the differences between these? Um, some of these are our manager cars, so oh, okay. our, our um, hospital managers um, and then some of our single responders, like okay. this one here, goes off-road, four-wheel driving sometimes. Okay. Um, and then the ones you see on this side are the ones that you'll get when you call triple zero most of the time. So right. they have a bed and lots of equipment. So Right, yeah. a bed, not for sleeping, right? Not for sleeping. That's for you can try and have a nap. That's yeah. for getting treated, is that right? Yes, yeah, we fix you up. Amazing. Now, we're going to have a look at those in more detail, but I can't help but notice um, did someone stick that on backwards, Josh? Oh, good question. When you're driving, 
this way and you look in your rear view mirror, yeah. this will say ambulance as you would read it. When you look in the mirror. Yeah, crazy, hey. That turns around. Yeah. So it's like a magic it's a sign. Magic, it's, and it's also reflective. It's reflective. So if it's at night, it'll stand out even more. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. All right, so looking at all these ambulances here, you've got that reflective um, material, that really bright yellow. So that's so that you guys can be seen as you're driving down the road. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Amazing. All right, so this looks like a cool looking ambulance. Can we have a little tour around it perhaps? Yeah, yeah. So these are flashing lights, and then when you guys put those on, they are flashing red and blue, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Like all the other emergency services yep. around uh, New South Wales and around Australia and generally around the world, right? We have sirens as well. Sirens as well, yeah. so that's so that people can hear you coming down the road. Yep. And if I'm driving down the road and you guys are coming down behind me with the sirens going and the flashing lights going, what do mm -hmm. I have to do as a driver? Do I have to pull Very, up? very important is we don't do anything too suddenly. We do everything safe. So um, firstly, you slow down a little bit, right. check that it's safe, and then you're gonna to move to the left. Okay. So we're taught to stay in the right lane right. Um, out of traffic, and then if you slow down, look left, indicate, and move out of your way when it's safe to do so, we can pass through. It'd be okay. really helpful. And for all the kids out there, when they hear the sirens and see the flashing lights, mm -hmm. Sometimes some of them might get a little bit worried, right? But there's yeah. nothing to be worried about, is no, there? No, no, no. So um, lights and sirens usually mean that we just want to help very quickly. Right. So um, best thing is that if you're crossing the street or about to cross the street and you hear the lights and sirens, you make sure that you get to the pathway and stay safe. Okay. Uh, so you're not in the road um, right. and make sure we don't try and run out to see uh, the lights and sirens. So stay safe okay. because we're trying to concentrate and drive quickly and safe. Right. So, so for kids, it is a little bit exciting sometimes. Yeah, very. But you can't just run out and try and, yeah. you know, and go and give the paramedics high five. We love waving. Give them a wave. Yeah, yeah so safely. Yeah, 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 yeah we kids. do. We're happy to give you a wave. That's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Now, for um, the kids at home and for anyone watching this, what do I have to call so that I can get you guys? If I've hurt myself or someone that around someone around me is actually hurt and I need to get your attention, what oh, do I call? Which number to call? Which number do oh, I yeah, call, Josh? It's three numbers, zero, zero, and zero. Zero, zero, zero. Pick triple up your zero. Phone, zero, zero, zero. Okay. Exactly right, triple Amazing. zero. So for the kids out there, if mum and dad or one of the grown-ups in their lives has a fall or something, you know, they're unconscious and they're a bit worried about their health, the kids pick up the phone, call zero, 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 and then what do they say? If you want an ambulance, you need to ask for an ambulance. Okay. And then the person on the other end of the phone, they're always very nice. Yeah. They'll give you directions as to the next step. And one of the questions they ask is, what's your home address? What's your home address? What's your home address? Wow, kids, we're... do you know what your home address is? Okay, so that's probably a question that a lot of kids might not be able to answer. So maybe this is a good time to tell the kids out there that it's a good thing to know your home address. So I live at number such and such on mm -hmm. whatever the street name is. Yep. Yep. And then the ambulance operator can say, okay, little Johnny, we'll exactly. send an ambulance out so we can take and, care of your mum or dad. And then we know where to go. Yeah, exactly. of course. Yeah. Amazing. All right, so there's some really important things. Let's go and have a look at the rest of this vehicle on the outside, shall we? So I, this is the driver's door, I think. Mm -hmm. Around the front, oh look, there's another one of those backward signs. Cool, isn't it? <laughs> it's very cool. Yeah. And then you've got the lights up the top and intensive care. So there's a few different types of ambulances. I saw the one over there said emergency ambulance. This mm -hmm. one says intensive care. Mm -hmm. So there's a few different types of jobs that you guys do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're in intensive care ambulance. Right. Um, Sometimes if um, paramedics that come to you need a little bit extra help, right. um, we carry a few more little um, different medicines and things like that that we can help uh, make you feel better. Okay. Um, and there's a couple other ones, other ambulances that get around as well. You might see um, some little vans or like we said before with the four wheel drive ambulance. So yep. um, we just bring a little bit extra if you need. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. Now, do you mind if we have a look inside the ambulance? I've actually never been inside an ambulance. So can you guys give me a tour? Absolutely. Yeah, Amazing. All right, do you mind if I sit? Hop in. Yes. All right, so welcome to the front of the ambulance. So what are all these things, Josh? These are the lights, so if we try to find a home at night, we can push them and it lights up spotlights on the side. Oh, 
it so we can light see, outside. So we can see the houses and the numbers on the mailbox. Yeah, cool. And sometimes, if it was a car accident, for example, and we on the side of the road, we'll turn them on so we can see okay. what's going on if we need to, to do some work outside the ambulance. Some treatment to someone that might be sick or injured. Exactly. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Now, when those lights up there go on, is that because you press one of these buttons here? It's one of these two buttons. These are the lights. Yeah. And this is a siren. Oh, can we press it? Yeah, these are pretty fancy buttons too. I just want to show you this. You can push it up and you can push it down as well. I can see it, it's reflecting <laughs> off all the walls in here. Why don't you have a go? <laughs> How good is that? And is it going to be too loud if I press the siren in here? Uh, it won't actually work because oh. the handbrake is on and it's a safety thing. Okay. So you can only put, turn the siren on when the handbrake's off, so when you're driving. Click it and see what happens. Nothing. Nothing. It says handbrake is on. Hear that sound? Handbrake is on. All right, now what's this thing, Josh? Now, little, is that so you can watch some um, some movies or stuff when you're just cruising around? Oh, no. No, we not. don't have time for that. No way. This is where we get the information. It tells us the address and it tells us a little bit about what we're going to. Okay. So what the problem is, if someone's sick, it comes up on this. Okay. So when you call triple zero for the kids out there, zero, 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 and you're at home and you're giving the operator on the other end of the line your home address because you've learnt it, I'll leave it such and such number at such and such street. They're typing it in. It goes through the computer system to here. Magic. So when you're driving, it'll all pop up and mm -hmm. then you can just drive straight to that address and it will, can we, can we have a look in there? Yeah, we can. I'll show you the, um, an example. So this one here, it just gives us some information like that. Okay. And then we, we have buttons down here as well. Right. So when we arrive at the address, we can click, we're here. Right. And then our control center knows that we're there. That you've arrived. Mm. Okay, so the people working in the control center must have a really important job. Is that right, Josh? Yeah, they're taking calls important. from people all around the place and they're trying to figure out which ambulance is where and who to send to the next job exactly. and help the next sick or injured person. Yeah, very Amazing. important. There's some cool stuff going on behind me. Do you mind if we have a look behind there? Yeah, for sure. Come on. All right, so that's the front of the ambulance. But I'm really keen to see what's in the back. Dakota, do you mind if I go and check it out? Open it up. Yes. Wow. There is a lot of stuff in there. It is, yeah. It's like a mini hospital almost. It's a hospital on wheels. Yeah. Amazing. So don't tell me you know what everything in here does. Absolutely. It's our job to know what all of our tools are, just like a mechanic or if you're Mum or dad's a plumber or electrician, they yeah. have to know all of their tools all the time. So, Amazing. Yeah, every ambulance and every paramedic knows what every tool does. That's cool. Yeah. How long did it take you to learn all this stuff? How long have you been a paramedic? Oh, uh, so um, you have to be in school for a really long time. Yeah. And you have to be really focused yep. and get good marks so that you can go to university. So okay. university degree is three years. Okay. And then you get to um, come with our one of um, our graduation programs. That's about a year. Okay. As a trainee. Wow. Then you get to become a paramedic. So it's, it's a, a little time. while, but yeah. it's an amazing job. Yeah. So um, I've been in health 10 years as a paramedic uh, six. Okay. So, um, and then as on this big intensive care car, uh, one year. So, wow. Yeah, not very long. Amazing. Mm. What is it that you love about your job the most? Um, I think it's almost like a game of bingo every day. So you never know what you're going to get, you never know what number is going to be called, and you never right. know what amazing opportunity happens um, you know, around the corner. So you know, wow. we could be in a big building or in a school or at the Easter show. So every do. day is different for yeah. you guys. Every day. But I guess the same, that you're always doing the same thing every day in terms of helping people yes, yes. and making sure that the sick or the injured mm -hmm. are getting the care they need yeah. to then either go home with whatever it is, some treatment, or go to the next hospital. place, which is the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, you, so what you guys do, you get called to a job, you go and assess the patient, mm -hmm. you fix them up, get them into the back of here, yep. and then you drive lights and sirens to yep. the hospital, hand them over, say all the best, take care, be well. Yeah, that's it, be safe. And then you go and hit the road and another that one. computer pops up with another call yep. and says you've got a job over here. Yeah, sometimes we could do um, eight or ten of them a day. Eight so, or ten a day? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So um, by the time you know you call the ambulance and we drive to you and 
talk to you for a little bit, get to know you, treat you, drive you to hospital. It could be about an hour or two. Wow. Um, and then so that fills our 12 hour shift. So. 12 hour shift? Yeah, yeah. That's a long time. That's like two school days in one. Yeah. Yeah, wow, that's so. ages. Yeah, so we're 24 hours, so we're up all night and all day. So you can do some shifts overnight? Yeah, Which yeah. is why you need the lights on the vehicles. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. people don't just get sick or injured during the day. No. You don't go, sorry, it's after five o'clock now, I can't come and rescue you. Every day of the year, Christmas, Easter, birthdays. Amazing. All right, can we have a look inside? Absolutely. It's been great chatting, but can we go and have a look yeah. inside? Wait, wait, Check out first. all this stuff. Now, I'm gonna let you guide me because I don't really know what does what? So these are the ones, if you see an ambulance, you'll probably see us grabbing these. Okay. One, two, three, sometimes four. Okay. So this one's for breathing. Okay. So we can get that one out if you'd like. This one has a big oxygen cylinder in it. Have a feel of that, Aussie. Oh, that's pretty heavy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So that one's got a big oxygen cylinder. Okay. If you need help breathing, we've got everything in here that can help you breathe. Oh, wow. So if you have, some of your friends might have asthma. Yes. Yep, so this might be a kit that we'll use for asthma. Okay. So we might need to give you like a puffer, we give you in a nebulizer. Yeah. Yeah. So, so someone's having an asthma attack or they're having yep. trouble breathing, this is the kit you use. Absolutely. And that's got the oxygen in it. Yeah. Amazing. All right. That's a very, very important kit by the looks of it. That is. Yeah. Then we've got our medicine kit. Medicine kit. Yeah. So, so it's probably got a few more things than just Panadol or something in it. Oh, yeah? a couple more. You have to be a little bit sick to get some medicines. Yes. You don't just take medicines. Whoa, yeah. whoa! There's a lot of uh, a lot of crazy looking packaging there. Absolutely. Lots of gadgets, lots of things, and you guys know how all this works, and you know how much of the certain type of medicine to give to someone to treat their Absolutely. sickness or their injury. Yeah, amazing. Then, I'm not sure if you've ever seen on movies, maybe when people might do CPR and then yeah. give people shocks. Yes. Yeah. So that's this machine. And what are they? What's this called? This is called a life pack or life a defibrillator. Pack. Defibrillator. So that's that machine again okay. with lots of other things to measure and take blood pressure. Okay. Temperature. We might take your blood pressure <clears throat> later. Yes. Absolutely. That'd be great. And then. Hopefully I'm healthy. Yeah, I think you will be. And then this one is if you have any cuts or if you break any of your bones. Okay. So this one, we've got to break our oh, seal. No. So we know that our stock is fresh because this one is for cleaning wounds. Okay. So if you fall over and scrape your knee or you need an ice pack, we've got little ice packs in here as well and okay. bandages. Right. Snake bandages if you get a snake bite. Right. Okay. And there's band-aids in there, but I wouldn't call triple zero if I need a band-aid, would I? Not just a band-aid, no. no. I think if you can't stop the bleeding or if you've think you've broken a bone and your bone doesn't look like it's in the right place, yep. definitely a job for us. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, if your arm is all the way out here or your legs all twisted and yeah. stuff, triple yep. zero. Now I noticed that you cut that thing off there. I did, yes. And you said something about stock. Is that because at the end of the day you've got to make sure that what you started the day with mm -hmm. ends up in there at the end of the day? Absolutely, so yeah. So someone's got to go and count and say I had ten bandages and I've only got nine. Nine take away. Ten, uh, one. I need to put one. one more in to make it ten. That's it, yes. Okay, so someone's got to do maths as well as bandages and check things yeah. out. Yeah, so when we so cool. say goodnight to the ambulances at night, yeah. um, someone else might take it tomorrow. So Josh and I might not be on the same shift. Right. I have to make sure that she's ready to go tomorrow. Okay. So. Uh, do you have names for your ambulances? No, they have numbers. Okay. This is 959. Okay. One just means that we're in Sydney. Right. So we're ambulance 959. So okay. when we get called on the radio, that's what we're nine. listening for. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you want to name them, like Susie or Ozzy or? We can't get too attached. Oh, okay, because you might not be in the same one. We have to share. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Can we go inside as well? Hop on These in. These are awesome. Far out. This is crazy. Wow, there is so much stuff in here. It's very wow. fun. And it's really bright. It is. We need to be able to see very clearly. We do a lot of things in here, like yeah. a hospital. Yeah. Well, it's like a hospital on wheels, isn't it? Yeah. So that's why you've got so much stuff. And that's why there's a few chairs. And what's this? This is our stretcher, it's not stretcher. the bed to sleep on. It's not the bed to sleep on, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. So this is where the patient or the injured person lays down and yep. gets treated on the way to hospital if that's where you need to go. Yeah, absolutely. Generally, you do need to go if you're taking them in the ambulance, right? Yeah, yeah, most of the time. It's not always. You don't have to go to hospital. Yep. Um, sometimes we might be able to leave you at home or talk to your doctor. Right. But most of the time, um, if you're calling triple zero for an emergency, yes. you should be going to hospital, yeah. Okay. So you'll get put on a stretcher. This usually goes out there. Yep, Person's, like an aeroplane. Person gets on it and then gets 
put in here somehow. Maybe you can show me that later. I think so. You can go for cool. a ride. Yes. Okay, and then what do I what does this person do? If um, I was a paramedic sitting in this chair, what's my job? You're gonna look after pretty much all of this for the person, all their breathing, this you're gonna talk to them, yeah. and you're gonna be looking after um, like the oxygen and that blue kit that we looked at outside. Oh, that's, that's the a same spare thing. one, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, so that's all the breathing stuff. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. Amazing. All right, so I look after the breathing, and what do you do in your chair there? Okay, so we're a team, right. so um, I have some medications, like the green bag. Right. So we've got a spare green bag in here. So everything that's in the green bag is there, Yeah. And everything that's in the blue bag is here. Yeah. Amazing. So you can treat people in their house or wherever they've had an accident. Mm -hmm or become injured, and then when you get them into the ambulance, you don't need to worry about your bags anymore, everything's here. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good system. Absolutely, so that way um, we can bring the hospital not only in the ambulance, but to you, because if you're down a dirt track doing yeah. BMX biking, or yeah. we can't bring this big van, it doesn't fit many places. Yeah. That's right. All right, so there's lots of cool stuff around here. I see a, a cylinder here. Josh, what's this for? This is oxygen again, but oxygen. it's attached to the bed. Okay. So when we wheel it around, yeah, if, right. our, if our patient needs oxygen, yeah. we can still give it to them while And how do they get the oxygen? Um, Through this? No. Uh, well, it, it's a tube, but then that's connected to a mask, which are all up here. Okay. All right, so you've got spare masks up there, oxy tubing. Oxygen tubing. That's the tube that connects okay. to the mask, all yeah. Right. And then what's this thing? This, take, this is a, a blood, pressure blood pressure dial. So okay. when you pump this up, Yeah. You can get the reading on that. So Dakota would be doing the blood pressure from that seat and she can see it from there. So no it's really quite a nifty thing. Cool. So we've got lots of oxygen stuff, we've got spare parts and a burns kit. What's a burns kit? Well, if say for example you were cooking something yeah. and you spilt it on yourself and, and burnt your skin. Yeah, right. This kit contains things that we can put on top of it. Okay. That will Relieve, like ease, ease the pain and make you feel better okay. and also sterile things so you might you won't get an infection or something okay cool and then i see the last one down there i can see that label says maternity kit what's mat maternity is like little babies isn't it yeah yeah so sometimes you might get called to if someone's having a baby yeah and that has all the equipment what we would need to deliver it okay so if if a, a mother to be mm -hmm can't make it to the hospital on time, you guys can actually deliver a baby and help her help that baby be born. Yeah, yep. for sure. Absolutely. Amazing. Wow, that's that's a lot of responsibility. You guys really are real life superheroes. You help save lives <laughs> and then you bring lives into the world by delivering babies. What a cool job, what a rewarding job. Yeah, incredible. Mate, how long have you been working in this job? Seven years. Seven years, and what do you love about it? Uh, everything, day to day, and helping people is the, is the most rewarding thing, yeah. So any kids out there that want to become paramedics, then you've got to work hard at school. You've got to set your sights on becoming a paramedic and you've got to stay keen until you get there. So we'll head around the back here and there's more stuff around here. What's all this stuff? We've got some lots of bags and stuff. Is there anything that you want to show me here? Oh, why don't we show you the chair? The chair? We use to get people out of tight spaces like down hallways in their house, in their yeah. bedroom. Folds up flat. There you go. You're Look right. at that. I'll just have to take the brakes off. A skinny wheelchair. And we can wheel you around. Okay. Look at that. That's cool. All right. This hospital on wheels really does have everything. I see you've got some um, some boards here. Yep. Spine board for carrying people out if they can't walk. Okay. All right, and then this is the stretcher. The stretcher, so exactly. Can we see that one come out? Yeah, of course. Knob here, and it just pulls out. It's all automatic. Yeah, right. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh. No way. Just like that. Oh, that's very, very clever. So it's got this cr crazy contraption here that makes it go up and down and then puts it into the, the back of the ambulance wheel. Yeah, straight back in. Really, really cool. All right, so if I'm injured, I call triple zero, or someone calls triple zero for me, yep. 
gives them their home address or wherever it is that I've had an injury. You guys come out and then you give me some treatment. I end up on here and I end up in there and then I'm off to hospital. Exactly. Can we maybe just um, pretend that I've done an injury and we can do all that kind of stuff? Yeah, why not? Awesome. Sounds great. All right, what have I done? What have I injured? I don't know. Where are you sore? Oh, I've got a sore leg. Oh, no. I think you might have to sit down. You okay. be standing on all such right. a sore leg. I'll sit down here. Shall I? All right. All right, Josh, you start. I'm going to get you some equipment. All right. First thing we'll do is ask you what happened. What happened? Um, I was just running through the street and I tripped over and um, it, you can see my leg. I mean, it's broken, I, I think. It's like sideways. Oh, it? it looks sore, that's for sure, yeah. Yeah? All right. And how is your pain? Uh, it's, it's excruciating. Excruciating, yeah. all right. Well, we're going to try and immobilise this leg. Okay. And then we'll get you up to hospital for an x-ray so all we can right. see what's, if there's anything damaged with it, all right? Okay. Okay. That sounds good. All right, I'm getting you a splint. And we'll do some observations on you as well. I'll okay. leave this one for you, Josh. You've got your trauma kit just behind you as well. Ozzy, I'm going to take your blood pressure. Is that okay? Oh, yes, please. Because when someone's hurt, even if it's a broken leg, we have to make sure that their vital signs are okay. Okay, their vital signs, like yeah, their blood so pressure. Yeah, so vital signs means blood pressure, heart rate, and oxygen. Okay. Yeah? Because if you've hurt your leg, you might not notice that you've got a big cut on your back. Right. You don't have a cut on your back, no. but you might not notice it. So that's our job, okay. is to make sure you're safe everywhere. Right. Yeah. So you've got to make sure you're not bleeding from anywhere. Yep. This one goes around our arm. This line here goes on, I'm sure you've probably seen, and you can look on mummy or daddy maybe, kids. There's got big veins here. Ah, uh, yes. That's what that line lines up with. Okay. And we're going to read your blood pressure along there, okay? okay? We press the blood pressure button. We're going to watch this number go up. Okay. Perfect numbers. We've is got that your good? blood pressure and your heart rate here is 70, which is really good. Okay. Okay, your blood pressure can change for lots of things. And if you're in pain, it can be a little bit higher than normal, which is okay. Okay. All right. Oh, that's good. That's, so that's a good sign. I get a big green tick for that one. You do. Yes. What have you got there, Josh? Oh, this is a splint I've assembled. This will help with the pain of your leg so we can keep it still. Okay. All your, all your vital signs we can check are good. So, okay. yeah, we'll be right to go to hospital when That's we get good. this on, okay? Excellent. So now I'm gonna get Dakota to support your leg. Okay. You don't have to do anything, okay. just relax. All right. And we're gonna slide this straight across, okay? Good. All right, Ozzy, this might be a little bit sore, but I'll be very gentle, okay? okay. Yep. Is this where it's sore right here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you stand nice and still for me. Okay. Take a big, deep breath. All right, in and out. So good, you're being really brave. In my best. and out. Okay, I'm gonna pop it back down. All righty, so good, Ozzy. Now, one more time. I'll pick this up, Josh, if you wanna grab this. Okay. And big deep breath in, Ozzy. One more time. So good, you're doing so well. All right. I'm in very good hands, that's why I'm, I'm you doing are. so well. All right. No, we're just going to tie these up so you okay. might feel a little bit of pressure. All right. So if I was to hurt my leg, this is what, what you guys would do. You've got a splint there to immobilise it. Is that the word I'm Yeah. For? So we're going to keep, if it's a broken bone, we're going to keep it still. That's what immobilising means. Okay. And what we're going to do is we tie these little bandages to keep the um, splint in place. Right. And we tie one big knot above where we think you may have broken it. Right. And one below. Okay. So that's going to keep that nice and still. Right. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got to get you onto the bed. Right. Okay. Sometimes we can call fireys. Okay. Our friends at Fire New South Wales come and help us lift big people. Yep. But I think because you're muscly, we're going to be able to use that good leg of yours okay. and you can help us hop on the bed. All right. All right. Sounds good. So, Ozzy, I'm going to hold your sore leg. Yes. Um, and Josh is going to help you up, okay? And you're okay. going to use that good leg yep. to push off the ground. Yep. And your bottom is going to come and sit right here, okay? okay? All right. And I'm going to do the heavy lifting of this one. All right, it's going to be a bit sore, okay. but it'll be over real soon, okay? Okay, okay you ready? I am. Yeah. All right. All right, on three, you're going to push hard, Aussie. One, two, three. Oh, oh onto the bed. Ah. So good. 
Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's All cozy. Right, Ozzy, how are you feeling now? Up off the ground. Feeling comfortable. Yeah, yeah. good, good. Feels good. All right, let's get you strapped in. We've got to put our seatbelts on. We'll pop you in the ambulance and we'll go get an x-ray at the hospital. Okay. See what we've done to our leg, Excellent. okay? Hopefully it's nothing too serious. So we have more seat belts than normal cars. Okay. Because you're laying down, if we got in a big accident, we need to make sure that you're not going to roll anywhere. Yes. All right. So our job is to keep you safe. And secure. And secure. Here we go. Last one. Alrighty. Feeling nice and secure, nice and safe. Alrighty, Josh. This is the fun part. Yeah. So I'm going to go inside there. Yeah, we're going to come up. Woo! Wow. This is cool. All right, you ready? And then you let the robot do its work, and off we go. Peekaboo Aussie. Oh, Hello. We're back. we're back. Welcome. All right. So now I'm inside the ambulance. Off we go to hospital. How yeah, good. All right, I think we're ready, Dakota. We're ready. We're off to the hospital. Bye, kids. See ya. I'm going to be OK. It's all OK. I'm fixed. Turns out, I just needed a band-aid. Lucky I didn't call triple zero in real life, because I wouldn't call triple zero for, for a band-aid. Guys, thank you so much for taking good care of me today. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for teaching myself and all the kids out there all about what you do, the important role you play in keeping people safe and healthy, treating them and getting them off to hospital so that they can not get a band-aid, but get their real injuries looked after. All right, kids, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. A couple of little things I hope you've learnt. Only call triple zero if it's a real emergency. And kids, make sure you practice your home address because it's really important that you know where you live so that you can tell the ambulance where to come, right? Very important. Kids, hope you've loved it. We'll see you on a brand new episode of Aussie this weekend. Until then, stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a great up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon, kids. And until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi! Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of